How's it going? I still can't get the false papers. Have you tried Rogue? You'll definitely find him at the bar. He's always got his nose in a glass. A good idea. See ya. No, I won't touch that. Hey, man. We was a bit worried about you. Them mafia guys are rough. Uh, fortunately, Carrie helped me to get out of prison. Yep. Carrie's already in the bar. They let him go this morning. He spent just one night there for being violent. Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sheriff Barnaby is the mafia's now. Oh, that's bad. I'll see ya. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. So, uh, why are you standing outside? I'm giving my feet an airing. I couldn't stand the stench anymore. My bro, he kicked me out of the kitchen. He says his meat is getting green. Okay, I see. See ya. Whoa, that's a cool sound. I bet it's empty. Ugh. One might as well die. Thanks again. You really help me. That's okay. Oh, damn. I got fleas in prison. They keep biting me. Would a shower help? Are you crazy? I wouldn't stink anymore. Okay, uh, forget it. What are you having? Did you used to work as a barman at my casino by any chance? Sure enough, but I left as soon as those ruffians came. I wouldn't bother with such lowlifes, would I? Uh, they didn't have a grain of talent for dancing. Uh, you're an excellent dancer. Thanks, I know. Uh, well, I better go. Uh, good morning. Yeah, go jump in the lake, man. Boogie boogie. Wow, yeah. Uh, but, um... Hey, dude. Uh, beaver? No? Oh, uh, no flat can't be. Excuse me. Hi, Ro. Damn. Well, of course. You are mistaken for someone else. Come on. I need new papers. Bad luck. The police searched the place yesterday. And to avoid a false accusation, uh, I threw all allegedly compromising material. Okay, okay, okay already. Well, well, don't get mad. Hi, Johnny. We missed you. Those bums played a pretty bad trick on you. I can't leave it at that. I have to do something. Listen. If you need help, just tell me, okay? Thanks, kid. See ya. The container is full of garbage. There's no reason to rummage through it now. I'm not gonna mess around in somebody else's drawer. Hey, mate, get out of there! I just want to know why that guy over at the piano is so surly. You have a beaver? You don't. You won't get to talk with him much then. Well, would you know about any beaver by any chance? Even a really tiny fake one would do. Well, now you're talking about it. Hmm. This morning, a rather strange thing happened to me. I opened the fridge, and what do I see? What a thriller. And in the freezer, a guy, frozen solid, beard down to his chest, all blue. Pretty strong stuff. If you really want a beaver, it's 
yours. Uh, I better go now. Cool. Totally blue. But the beard. <laughs> Real class. I need to cut them off somehow. How's it going? <laughs> it's still itchy. See you later. What are you having? Well, um, I need something kind of unusual. And you're afraid to tell me? Well, not really. I'm looking for a pair of scissors. I see. Well, that's a pity. That's not what I expected. Absolutely. Here you are. Don't destroy them. I use them to shave the hair on my legs. I like them lovely and smooth. Uh, well, I better go. Hi, Rogue. Okay, okay, okay already. Well, don't get mad. Let's do it. The following scene displays violence on a deceased person with a beard. at it. Well, you're making mash out of the meat. D don't you know how to prepare a steak? Nonsense! The steaks are ready! I'm just chewing the flies off of Those vermin won't let go! Uh, I'd better go now. Uh, good morning. Hey, dude. Hey, nice cut. I'd like to ask you something. No doubt about that, Beardy. Hey, just suck it to me, huh? There's a really stinky trash can uh, standing outside. And that slimy rug chucked his tools in with him. How do you know? Well, you talked about it, didn't you? My hearing's perfect, Beard Boy. So the answer is, go to the cook and ask him for the lily of the valley and send it spray. Yeah, that dumbass thinks if he sprays the steaks where they help kill the snatch. And the best thing is, it actually works. So uh, it's gonna help you too, for sure. Thanks a lot. Hey, yeah, skip the thanks, Beardy, and your family, you know. Excuse me. What's the matter with you, buddy? Uh, give me the uh, Lily of the Valley spray. Darn! Whoever gave it away, I'm gonna let him know what I think of him. No buts, bro. Well, well, here it is. Uh, I'd better go now. Guess you must have to shave pretty often, huh? I reckon you're there for five minutes and you're as hairy as an ape man. <laughs> Boy, that blows my mind. That's the first time I've seen anything like it. I'll kill the stench with a spray and Rogue's gear will be mine, yeah. And I can also get rid of that terrible beaver. Here. My tools. Darn it. If you betray me, you are dead. Hey, don't worry. I need um, <clears throat> false papers. Well, considering the tense atmosphere around here, we'll need to discuss an extra charge. Aw, oh, come on, Rogue. I'm your old buddy. I never befriend criminals. If you pay me 500, the papers are yours. 500? My last word. How's 
it going? I still can't get the false papers. That slithery rogue wants a fortune. I'll never get enough. Kid might have a job for you. And if you like a bit of adrenaline... Well, I've almost had too much recently, but uh, go on. How about a few races? Go on. Well, sometimes in the evenings, there are races that could earn you money. With a bit of practice, you can earn something. How about that? Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, my friends and I have prepared a terrific test track. If you can handle this, we'll talk about the real races. Let's do it! Be showing up again. Ha 
How's it going? I still can't get the false papers. Hey, you're pretty good. You could even try a demolition race. That sounds interesting. In the evenings, races are held in the old factory. The driver who finishes the race takes all the money. You can make a pile. How about that? I take it. Just for this, I'll let you drive my Beetle. So be careful. Let's drive to the factory. We should get there in the evening. Well, I made some money, but I'll need much more to get the false papers. Thanks. I'll show up again. How's it going? I still can't get the false papers. You're a really good driver. You know what? Maybe you could take part in the annual tractor race instead of me. It's pretty tough. I could manage. Not so fast. The races last the whole week, and everybody can race as many times as he likes. Bets are placed on every individual race, but the others also improve their times. 
so at the end of the week, there's only one winner. What's more, my buddy's put money on my tractor. So if you lose, a bunch of people will be unhappy. Kid's bet is the highest one. Well, I wouldn't want to make Kid angry. He's a buddy of mine. So, are you on? Okay. Show them what you've got. <laughs>
Roberto Manza, Macaroni's man. They hired him for the money they make at the casino. They bribed or eliminated all the other drivers. If it goes out like this, he'll win and half of the town will lose their money. Everybody bet on us. Well, we can't leave it at that. You're right, we can't. We must win. Will you try once more? Okay.
How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. See you. Hi, Johnny. Hi, kid. Um, I need to get some money fast. Rogue is making things really difficult. If you don't loathe work, we're taking another consignment to the farm. So if you have time, you can take it there. And there's always something to do on the farm. No problem. I'll go there right away. Hang on a second. The spirit isn't burnt properly yet. Go to the distillery on the other side and finish the job. There should be some electric wires here somewhere. I'll stop by later. Okay, here we go. See ya. Great. Here are the wires. Off to the distillery. Generator? Hmm. But it lacks something. I have to get wires to connect the distributor from somewhere.
Johnny. Let's see how we're doing.